Hey there, brother. It's time for another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Barracks here in the top right hand corner. Shao Shui in the bottom left. Now, recently I casted a game of Barracks and he put out a really good show versus Hero. That was a very fun game. And then Shao Shui, he had an awesome little series versus Snow that I put out on the channel. Uh, I guess it was a week or two ago, but. Uh, both these players have been putting out some good games on the channel, so I saw their two names and I just wanted to put them together and get this cast out to you as quickly as possible. I was very excited when I saw this game. Can't wait to see what these two players have for us today, here today. Xiao Shui, a little introduction about him. He's a Chinese player. Xiao Shui is a little handsome. So he's a little handsome Zerg player um, and he does play at a very good level. He's like I would say amateur Korean level, um, maybe like even ACS uh, material. Although um, a lot of these Chinese players haven't been able to perform uh, in these major tournaments. Xiao Shui is one of those guys who maybe could perform in the future. Maybe he could get there. It all depends on his dedication to the game and you know keeping up with the meta and all that stuff i think chinese players are definitely on the cutting edge more than any other foreigner group so xiao shui we're looking at him a lot more lately and that is because he is riding that cusp of potentially taking on some really strong korean players in a major tournament now he started out here with a Overpool and the overpool is a response to the current meta, which is of course eight racks eight racks is super annoying It's kind of pushed Zerg players away from the traditional 12 hatch because that is how Basically everyone played for the longest time It's funny to see it kind of shift out of the meta here and he's gonna produce four links He's gonna send them straight across uh, he won't find his opponent for a little bit of time. He might have to actually send uh, one Ling down to the bottom right. Uh, just to see where he is. He's going to see the SCV coming in. So he sees it coming from the left hand side. So he's going to assume that from the timings here, Barracks must be over here at the top right. So cross map, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, that he is cross map here. The four links probably not going to do anything, but they are just like the safety four links to deal with an eight racks. And generally from this position, when you come across the map and you see the wall, you just go, damn it. Probably should have 12 hatched, but it is what it is. We're in this meta now. You're probably uh, going to have to have some good follow up builds from this. So I'm curious to see what Shao Shui is uh capable of pulling out here as a response to seeing this perfect wall in and his links literally doing nothing they're not going to do anything um and they might as well have been drones unfortunately there's nothing really else to say about that they will maybe be useful a little bit later on uh, as part of a hold with sunken colonies or maybe running in uh, to the main or natural, just trying to delay things a little bit later on. For now, they're just going to chase that SCV, and let's see what Xiao Shui does here. I'm very curious. I feel like any build where you go for a overpool has to be like a highly aggressive play. There's not really much of a choice. Um... I think that Lurker play is out of the question. We will see the Spire here. Link Speed finishes, so he's going to be able to kill uh, that Scouting SCV. And I'm just, without even looking at the base, I'm going to imagine that it's going to be two racks. Oh, okay. He did get the... Um... Okay, yeah, he is going for a Stim Rush. So we're going to see plus one coming up. This is still kind of a fast engineering bay, but... I'm not sure if he totally mapped out the gas timing here. Um, looks like we're going to be hitting like that six minute mark. So the, the engineering bait does seem a little bit early. We're going to start to move out right at that five minute mark. Super, super standard stuff here. The Ling run by, of course. 
I'm gonna come in to the natural, see what he can get. One firebat does pop out. Uh, marine gonna come up here. Maybe he can target the firebat. Okay, gets the firebat. He should be able to get this marine as well. He does get that marine. He will be able to run into the main. Maybe delay a building or two. Maybe even delay a turret, which could be amazing. Now, back at the natural here, two sunkins are on the way. I won't show how close they are to finishing. Okay, they are done. So it's fine. I was gonna leave a little bit of suspense there to see if they finish up just in the nick of time or not. They don't. They're finished in good time here. Uh, plus one is on the way now. And we have this third base over at center left. So this is a good play by Xiao Shui. The run by was great. The targeting and movement um, to get that fire bat was fantastic. Uh, he slowed this down. He made the right number of sunken colonies. He got a little damage. He's done a great job so far. Let's see what he can do with these mutas as they're coming across. He's only able to produce five. That's just simply due to the uh, addition of these sunken colonies. Nothing you can do about that. They had to be built. Barracks was gonna go across the map and just kill you otherwise. So have to build those. I'm gonna go to work on the supply depot. All he's doing is just whatever he can with the mutas while he's waiting for additional reinforcements because he can't really dive with just five mutas. Five mutas not gonna one shot anything but a marine. So now that he's up to eight, you can absolutely start to dive here on some SCVs. He's just gonna stay back though. Ooh, that's a bit of a mistake there. Drone being sent out here as well. Looks like that's gonna be turned around. Um, definitely can't be allowing any of these mutas to rally into the marines and die. Uh, every single hit point on these is so critical when it comes to slowing down and stopping this marine force as it comes across the map. Funny of him to hide behind the um, tree here. I guess it, it doesn't actually, I think, uh, like have a mischance. If you're air, air does not have a mischance, I don't think. Um, I could be wrong about that, though. Does air, do air units have a mischance? Ooh, one marine making its way over here does get a kill on a drone not the biggest deal in the world but um we will have that transition and he's spotted that so he sees the uh the hydra den up here on the high ground starts the lurker upgrade but shots why does need to deal with this uh, army right here three mutas spotting the army the 11 coming from behind can he stop this can he overwhelm this bio we get the first medic pick off there. Only three medics left. Let's take a look at their energy. Pretty low on that energy. He's got about two stims remaining here. Stim up one more time. It looks like that is out of energy. We're completely out of energy on that one medic. Uh, reinforcement train is making its way across the map. This is bad. You cannot allow this to reinforce right now. He should really be behind this, but he's afraid that he's going to run up this ramp and get into a good position. You want to fight on the ramp if uh, po at all possible, but catching reinforcements, not allowing them to group up is critical, really. The hive is on the way here. Marines are going to back up as lurkers are going to start to increment out here. Seven hydras are popping. And as they start the egg on the ramp, he should be okay. He should be fine here. So he's managed to weather the storm. He hasn't done any damage to the economy though of barracks with these mutas. No damage at all. He's simply been defending nonstop throughout this early game and he does need to actually get into position here. Oh no, he didn't make the lurker egg on the ramp. Hold up, wait a minute. That is a huge mistake right here. And he's going to lose a bunch of drones because of that. He's got to actually dive now on this because the lurkers are going to pop out in a moment. And if they pop out and get completely surrounded and killed, he's going to lose so much. He's losing already a lot of these mutas. A simple error here from Xiao Shui is going to cost him a massive amount. He finishes off the marine force. But this is never a situation you want to be in as a Zerg player. You've lost a bunch of drones. You've lost the entirety of your mutilus except for you know five remain with just hardly any hp on a few of these this is not a good situation the next marine force is already hitting the deck here four five barracks 
production. It's full on SK Terran with double upgrades rolling right now. Barracks is in just crazy production mode right now. It's gonna be so hard to fight this. He makes a big wide arc here. Gonna be taking on these lurkers. Okay, not bad. He actually does pretty decent trade there, trading there uh, with the lurkers. Continuing to slowly push up here. The Defiler's Mound is almost done. We haven't saturated this base at all aside from the gas. So he is really putting on the pressure here. And I think he's just going to keep rallying forward and try to eventually overwhelm and kill Barracks. He does not want to take this game along. He's not planning to throw down a bunch of macro hatches or anything like that. He just wants to push him in. Get him into his natural and bring the Defilers across the map to finish here. Only five Lurkers remain. And the second set of vessels just popping out now. Will he go around this or will he stay to fight? One more Irradiate should be popping out soon. Uh, once all of these Irradiates are ready, he will hold this. But will that be in time? And will he lose a Vessel here? The Vessel could go down with these two Scourge in position. Marine Force moving around the bottom side here. Oh, man, he really needs to get up here with these Scourge. Scourge, 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 Scourge. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, Scourge, Jesus. Giving me a bit of a heart attack there. I didn't think they were going to connect. Oh, these medics. What are they doing? Scourge got to head forward right now. Get up there and get the kills. There we go. Two big kills here. Shaoshui getting those massive kills. And the Defilers have arrived. Big push here right now for Shaoshui. What can... Barracks do. Dark Swarm comes down. Lurkers will run forward. And this is like panic mode right now for uh, our Terran player. He's going to run around this army, moving all of his Marines and Medics around the army, heading directly for the natural. We need Lurkers here ASAP. One is already present, but he's running up the ramp here. Another Dark Swarm on the ramp. Will Xiao Shui have everything in position to defend this? He needs to consume. He needs to consume right now. Oh, get the dark, get, get the lurker down. What is this? What is going on here? These Marines just running in and dying right now. Oh my gosh. Running up towards the third base. Maybe you can attack that, but I think you're fine here as Zerg. Just pushing in on top of the barracks. Even if you lose your third base, who really cares in the end? The third base looks like it will end up going down, but as long as he opens up this position to keep sending reinforcements across the map, there's no way, way Barracks should be able to stabilize. Lurkers here burrowing right on top of all of the production. The spines eating those Marines alive the moment that they spawn into this world, not even a moment after they're released from prison directly into the arms of death. This is, this is a death sentence here for the Marines of Barracks. Being put into their Marine chassis, being put into their little mech suits and falling directly onto some spikes. Barracks still trying to do something. I don't know what he's doing right now. I guess he's microing these uh, Marines over here, uh, but all the SCVs are falling. He's even made an egg wall over here to prevent, oh, okay. He's landed the, uh, <laughs> he's landed the CC over there. He was thinking that maybe he could go down to the low ground and just keep irradiating all of this to death while mining at the natural. Well, you lost all your SCVs, so that's not going to be possible here, Barracks. One Wraith pops out. Um, seven, eight SCVs down here, but he doesn't have a scan. He doesn't have a vessel over here to deal with this and i think he's just a little bit in shock right now um at the fact that he's gonna lose this game because he is going to lose this game there's really no two ways about it lurkers coming down burrowing on top of the cc he's still irradiating everything he's still slowly chipping away at all of this but i mean what do we have to do here is that's why we just sit back and chill axe Build Lurkers and uh, Defilers, and we should win eventually. Building some bunkers down here. He's trying to build bunkers. He's got 1,300 minerals. Um, so plenty of resources here for Barracks, but just no SCVs. He's got six SCVs. 
And there's still a defiler somehow. How has this defiler not been killed? I'll never understand. We should have had Plague out quite a while ago. We're actually getting Metasynaptic Node now. So he's... I think he's going to get this Plague. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? Why did he not Plague that? Oh my god. That is crazy talk. Not plaguing that. How is Barracks still in this game? What is he doing? Um... Okay. Well, this is a, a little bit wild right now. It's almost starting to look like a, a desync or something. Or like a broken replay. But I think that Barracks is just trolling. Certainly he's trolling right now, right? He's not going to build supply depots. Surely he's not going to build supply depots right now. And try to play this game out. He should have some radiates. But one wraith with two kills is going to keep on shooting these down. He sees a bunch of... Lurkers and defilers coming across the map and his response. Well, I'm gonna go irradiate all that stuff I'm gonna bring the Marines together and Well, he's still got a thousand minerals in the bank. I mean That's pretty good. That's a lot of money a Couple plagues go down but the defilers will not make it across the map Lurkers here checking around actually Wondering what the heck is going on. I assume at this point like, was there a hidden base, or what the heck is happening? Um, try not to lose these vessels. These vessels are very, very important right now. We are making some SCVs here. We're at six. Um, so really a long way to go in that regard. Maybe getting another radiate out. Ooh, don't lose that. Lose everything right now. Vessels flying around. They've got no HP. Um, he should really bring these back and heal them up. Oh god. Oh we'll lose that one. Really wants to come out and irradiate some of these lurkers, but Um he's not gonna be able to. And he does tap out. GG. Okay. Kind of a funny end to that game, but right up until uh the bust happened, I think that was a pretty decent game. Like You can see that there is a lot of power for the Zerg player when it comes to uh, just kind of like a secondary all-in. Like a primary all-in would be, you know, Lurker off of two base, uh, where you barely build any drones at all. But here it's like Lurker with Defiler follow-up off of three base, where you don't really build any drones for your third. A lot of players, you know, if you're going to play like a standard Zerg play, you're going to build a bunch of drones here. You're going to go double uh, hatchery in the main, maybe even triple hatchery in the main. Gonna make a ton of lurkers to survive any attacks uh, as you're just kind of building up and eventually getting into plague uh you know with the mass hydra with all the hydra upgrades uh, lurkers are just going to be kind of that stop gap between the two techs uh, until you can get that up but here he just flips the script he doesn't go for uh, any sort of long macro play. He sticks on 25 drones only. Goes into Hive and immediately gets that Defiler Mound. Pushes across the map. Making nothing but lurkers. And makes this work against a Korean professional player. It's pretty impressive, honestly. Xiao Shui made this really crazy aggressive and a mid-game attack. Look very, very nice here. And, uh, yeah, I think Barracks was just kind of salty about it, man. I think he was, uh, I think he was a little bit frustrated. Uh, like, this sh isn't something that should have worked against him. He's a super robust player. He's been in ASLs. He is just going for absolute standard. He didn't take any damage to his economy. He's at 50 workers. Guys, double the workers of Xiao Shui right now double he's got all the production he could possibly need i think if he built bunkers maybe maybe if he started bunkering up here i'm not sure what what, what he should have done maybe instead of attacking this army right here 
maybe moving around if you put bunkers here and you move around the army and you just have you know a couple of bunkers with a whole bunch of marines standing around them ready to stim and jump in um and you move around and go down to towards the natural then the defiler can never walk across the map what Xiao Shui really wanted was to get his lurkers to here but he was only able to get them to here because barracks was standing outside and because Barracks tried to fight that and he lost a lot of his marine forces, he didn't really have the muscle to walk around this and go towards the opponent base, like go over here and counterattack, or go over here and stop a defiler from coming out. He just didn't have the muscle anymore. You can see he just doesn't have that many marines. And Xiao Shui outplayed him. He uh He took advantage of those errors. And Barracks was looking very good. He lost this game. I'm sure he's mad about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's it for your daily dose of Brutal War. I'll see you guys tomorrow.